Hey, it's Pike. Welcome back to Abiotic Factor. We're just gonna continue on. We've got stuff, like I it was expanding the farm and I hopefully we'll have this done. I have some fertilizer on it. And I wanna put two more here. And just have a little bit of everything. But I guess let's just make sure we've got stuff filled up. You don't want it to die after taking all this time. But we're gonna end up heading out back to explore. I guess let's put these here for now. So we'll have these as well. It'd be nice if I could just right click and consume. So yeah, we'll just uh, ah. head out and see where, I guess I want to take a nap first. Might as well just do everything just to make sure. I guess we'll actually take the tram again, because those turrets over there are going to be done as well. See what's around that area. I'm thinking if we come across some military guys, we'll fight them. Hopefully get some other repair kits. Honestly, let's actually think about that. Let's grab one of the shotguns we have and just put it in there as a spare. For when this one breaks, I'll just take the partial one. I think we already have the braces, like the biometric arm wraps. Yep, let's put these right next to each other. I'll just put them down kind of here. Not sure if the rats can drop those, because they don't have guns, so probably not. Promethean. Yeah, we wanted to take the tram. So I guess, honestly, let's just, well, let's put it in a spot where we can fucking see it. Yeah, let's put it over here. And we'll, I made the charge shield. I basically just wasted a day because we got back as like day started almost. So to figure I'll just holster stuff just so it doesn't get so in the way. Honestly, I feel like this would be a decent spot as well, just being right here at the trams. Maybe having like a ramps and bridges going over the center or something. The only way in is from up there. Just so you can get to these right away. I called it, right? Oh man, I guess I didn't hit it. I was like, man, this is taking a long time.
buying the Myco Fields. Nice eight fifty five. Just that would be this. That would even be further up. So it's not even here. Entities. This would be this. Well. I guess we'd want to sit. I wonder if I can interact with these at all. I can use these, so I guess if we want to do this, we'll want to sit on these seats. So these are friendly now. Well, I could have grabbed this from here. I was trying to get in that door at one point. Because I needed one stapler. You got through. So this is here. Oh, that's... I... Yeah, let's just ignore that guy for now. Can't open this. We need these though, we might as well just blast this guy. Oh, wrong one. from over to the right so we get in there yeah, this is probably more the area I'm supposed to drop into that pipe or something no I don't want to get in there because I got stuck in one at one point There's just so many little paths all around. Where are you? Dr. Mance, Cascade Facility. Reporting on IS-138. A unique entity, 138 has the distinction of being both an immurement subject and an entire antiverse in one. I cannot emphasize how important it is that we invest any required resources in ensuring the train does not stop. We have compelling data to suggest that a cessation of the train's forward motion would have apocalyptic ramifications. Are the turrets down? I will explain more shortly. You made it past the turrets. You're the first. I've been locked in here since we contained IS-121. For its own safety, as much as ours. Such an incredible specimen, and not just its size. The capacitance of its circulatory fluid is extraordinary. 
just a few drops contains enough energy to power an entire portal network. We've barely begun to understand the possibilities. Dr. Peters is the only surviving survivor of the team that trapped the Tarask in containment. She says its fluids are powerful enough to sustain an entire portal network, but getting them is another question. Well, I guess that's it. There's probably going to be... Like, I doubt it's just fucking shoot it. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Because there was stairs down there. So maybe if we go here, I think that there was more yeah, to the right. This is like underneath the Tarrasque. This is probably the same zone as the thing. One twenty three and one twenty one. I've been reviewing research on IS one on twenty three and one twenty one. I don't really know how big they're going to get in the Tarrasque, as you call it, it just seems to keep growing. I feel like we're really going to need some other specimens from A forty two if we're going to make progress here. Gatekeeper's territory, Hilda. I've assisted on GKTR missions, but A forty two isn't somewhere I go unless I absolutely have to. I understand, Lord, I hate to see their this feels like it's a spy or something then. Lord and whatnot. I decided which one it is. Which one? The worst one. Oh, right. Which one? It's 101. That one doesn't count. Why not? We don't know where that one is exactly. That's the worst part. You're going to have to spell it out for me. We sent out a message, our actual physical invitation, asking the intelligent ET to contact us. But then when they did actually reply, those bastards intercepted it, just stole the whole message somehow. No one can prove they did it, but everyone's too scared to admit it happened because of how bad it makes them look. It's the perfect crime, except, they, except they're not just screwing over the entire human race. They're screwing another race of creatures we've never even met yet. Worse, the rumor is that they made that's made of stellar matter. So even if we did get our hands on it, we couldn't read it. I still think 107 wins. Not in our lifetime, it doesn't. VHS findings. I've completed my analysis of 235. It appears to subsist on high contrast magnetic recordings. Copying the tape reproduces the entity, but any changes to the original are replicated in one in the copy. This leads me to believe that they are essentially the same entity. In informational terms, they are identical. What about previous sightings? We have no idea how it arrived in that specific Simpsons episode, but it seems to have disappeared from previous locations, e.g., Flintstone Season 2, Episode 32, which leads us to believe that 235 is the same continuous entity throughout all sightings. Fascinating. Have you had any luck getting it to move? Not so far. Its modes of movement remain uncertain. I've tried shifting the show to black and white, but that just seems to make it sick. I can't risk damaging such a unique entity. Tape Wisp? Two thirty five. Under circumstances, is the tape containing IS 235 to be brought into contact with a video cassette recorder? It must not be played, viewed, or displayed. The subject is to be considered contained until further, no further notice. Like the Tarasca is just right up there, right? this go lots of vents 
Yeah, it seems like it's just a big run around and avoid it. No clue if we need more, because we just crafted a bunch of stuff anyways. Like, we got through that door with what we have. Yeah, I'm not sure... ...if we're gonna figure out how to get this dude this episode. I'm just gonna be wandering around here for a bit, I feel, just avoiding him. Maybe this will help us know. Properties of 139's residue is fascinating. I'm not entirely sure where to begin, but the being disintegrates during extreme stress, leaving behind a material that can store and distribute electrical charge with extraordinary efficiency. The applications of high density rapid discharge power storage are obvious even to a curmudgeon like Thule. Who, for reasons entirely beyond me, continues to enjoy the trust of the executive committee. Even he should be able to understand. Here is a big bang from a small package. Which number did he say again? The properties of 139's residue. 139. Yeah, that's the crystal spiders, I guess, which is their dust that he's talking about. Let's see if I can make these. Yep. Thinking maybe I need to lure it. Man, like... <sighs> Let's talk to this lady more. Maybe she'll have more dialogue related to it. The Tarask is incredible. But we had to make sure it couldn't reach the other specimen. If they managed to, uh, well, you know, the energy released would be unthinkable. The Tarask is massive, but in its home antiverse, it's almost microscopic. Can you imagine what else exists there? I'm sure the gatekeepers would have brought home even bigger specimens if they could. It was never meant to exist here. What's going to happen now? I don't know. The Tarask is incredible, but we had to make sure it couldn't reach the other specimen. If they managed to, uh, well, you know, the energy released would be unthinkable. Yeah, there's just that down there. Hmm. Well, maybe this will be open. No. Yeah, I guess that's how much. Yeah, we've still got like 10, 11 minutes left. Let's uh, let's keep our stamina up just so we can run. Maybe we'd even want to drop some of our armor. I am painfully conspicuous, though. Is there anything to, like, interact with with him? Like, am I just supposed to fight it? Or am I just supposed to... Like, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something kind of like... I've never played it myself, but, uh... This equivalent in Half Life, you're supposed to fucking let's shoot the shit out of them. But is there anything I can interact with to do to have like some environmental thing? Let's check down here. It said you don't want them to get together. Is that another one? 
Yeah, there's one down there. So it says we don't want them to interact, is what she said. Did I check through this door? Did I see a door here? No, that's just that. Hmm. Is there anything up here? Sorry for being so slow with this. I just... I don't know. I'm just stressed out thinking about what I'm supposed to be doing. What I could interact with. Yeah, let's just get closer and I guess just do a shotgun blast to their back. I kind of doubt we're gonna... Maybe it's like you're supposed to damage them, lure them away, sneak back to wherever their blood drops or something. I guess let's find the closest spot we can kind of hidey hole in. I guess it's just through here. Hopefully they can't come through here. Like, it feels like they could probably reach here and just lift the door up or something. And then if we're in a super panic, we can just teleport back. Oh, jeez. So, oh, jeez. Yeah, I've got no clue what I'm supposed to do. Is it just a boss fight? Oh. Did I fucking throw it? What? What? I threw my fucking shotgun. Why would I do that? Like, am I? I don't know if I'm supposed to be fighting it or not. Can it smash through any of these doors down here? Maybe that's what it is. Some of those doors, maybe I can get... Oh, maybe that one right down at the bottom. Maybe it can smash through this. That's my only assumption, maybe. Otherwise, it's something else. So there's water there. that any 
anything here it could smash? Yeah, I've just got no fucking clue. Like, I'm assuming I almost need to, like, use its attacks to get through stuff. Like, maybe I can get it to go through some of these? turns. Doesn't seem like that was working. Yeah, I've got no fucking clue. Like, I'm assuming that I have to damage it in some way. Let me check up here. Maybe there's something I can do up here. It's not just that maybe I need to get them together. Yeah, I've got no fucking clue, man. I was not seeing anything down here, right? That just goes up. That just goes up. One twenty-three plus, but this is one twenty-one, which is one twenty-one. To ask, so twenty-three. We don't have that. So we need to look for IS 123, not 123, just 23. That's like my only assumption. Power services for today. But I guess we'll just go back. <sighs> Flow transit. This is also just being suspicious. Unless I'm supposed to fucking get my forklift down there and just run it over. I guess maybe that's what we'll try next, because I don't know, man. back. No, oh, sorry about that. I bumped my mic. Yeah, with all the formula stuff, it's either that or we're going to have to find that IS-23. Which I'm not sure which one that is. It's, it's over here. It's not over here. Emails. I guess 110, 23, 121.
Yeah, man, I've just got no clue. Well, I've got two clues. One is just ram with the fucking forklift, and the other is... Find whatever... Like, go to the... What's it? All the containment stuff and look to see if there was a, like... One... Just, no, just O21, right? It's just... 21... 23. Yeah, no attachments. Hmm. Well, we'll end this episode here, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.